Welcome to Ho-Chunk, Inc., the Economic Development Corporation of the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. Ho-Chunk, Inc. was launched in 1994 to help bring job opportunities and self-sufficiency to the Winnebago Reservation. But before we can examine the economic impact of Ho-Chunk, Inc., it's important to first understand the historical journey of the Winnebago Tribe. It was an unwilling journey that took them from being a thriving culture to poverty and discrimination. The Winnebago tribe's original homelands were in what is now the tri-state area around Wisconsin, Iowa, and Illinois. However, by the mid-1800s, the United States government had forcibly uprooted the tribe and moved them no fewer than five times around the Great Plains. Finally, in 1865, they bought a small reservation in rural northeast Nebraska, but by then, the damage had been done. Those forced moves resulted in a loss of culture and livelihood for tribal members. Over the next 100 years, the Winnebago tribe struggled to develop an economy. Joblessness and perpetual poverty plagued the reservation, along with the many problems poverty causes. By 1990, there was 40% unemployment on the reservation, and 43% of reservation residents were living below the poverty level. In 1994, Ho-Chunk, Inc. was launched with $9 million of seed money from the tribe's small casino. President and CEO Lance Morgan began it with a dual objective, to provide job opportunities for tribal members and to generate new revenue for the tribe. Under his leadership, Ho-Chunk, Inc. has grown to an impressive 1,200 employees with operations in 24 states and around the world and $260 million in revenue. More importantly, Ho-Chunk, Inc.'s success has become the cornerstone of major economic and social improvements for the Winnebago tribe, both on and off the reservation. Ho-Chunk, Inc. also developed a master plan to boost prosperity and progress on the reservation. The company has launched an internship program that provides tribal members with real-world business experience as they pursue their college degrees. The company funds a college scholarship program and a variety of educational initiatives for children from preschool through high school. To solve a major housing shortage, Ho-Chunk, Inc. invested in a modular housing company. To help tribal members build good credit, a pre-owned auto dealership was launched. An investment was made in a regional bank to provide mortgages. In 2003, the corporation broke ground for Ho-Chunk Village, a 40-acre mixed-use development to build a new community on the reservation. For the first time in the tribe's history, tribal members could now realize the dream of home ownership. Tribal members are eligible to receive up to $65,000 in down payment assistance to make their dream a reality. In 2015, Ho-Chunk, Inc. commissioned an independent economic impact study by Ernest Goss & Associates in Omaha. Their findings were startling. In addition to Ho-Chunk, Inc. creating jobs for tribal members in multiple industries, there has been a dramatic increase in prosperity on the reservation. Education has improved with 12th grade enrollment growing by 93.3%, significantly improving the previous dropout rates. The number of adults holding a bachelor's degree or higher has skyrocketed by 239.1%. From the year 2000 to 2013, the average payroll per worker on the reservation soared by 167%. Median household incomes went up by 61% while the poverty rate dropped substantially. Furthermore, between 2010 and 2014, Ho-Chunk, Inc. produced $8.1 million in wages on the reservation. And every 20 jobs added globally by Ho-Chunk, Inc. funded 11 new jobs on the reservation. From 2000 to 2013, home ownership climbed by nearly 5% on the reservation, nearly double that of the region and median home values increased by almost 30 percent. From 2000 to 2014, Ho-Chunk, Inc. contributed $53 million in dividends, taxes, and donations to the Winnebago tribe. That contribution had a $100.7 million impact on the reservation. 
The Goss Economic Impact Study also measured Ho-Chunk Inc.'s impact on the entire region. The majority of Ho-Chunk Inc.'s workforce is non-native, and the company employs over 1,000 people off the reservation. From just 2010 to 2014, the economic impact on wages was $127 million in Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota. Impact on average yearly jobs created was 746. In that same four-year period, Ho-Chunk Inc.'s total spending was $364 million in the region. Recently, Ho-Chunk Inc. has made major multi-million dollar investments in real estate development in all three states. These developments will have major impact on the quality of life for the entire region. Revenue will flow back to build more assets for the tribe. Ho-Chunk Inc.'s mission continues to provide long-term economic self-sufficiency for the Winnebago Tribe of Nebraska. <laughs>